Because we get out of that. So there are, I mean, taking a look at, let's say, a shattered like this, you'll notice that, that, that there are radial lines that go out straight out, and there are these um, circle lines. They're called concentric lines. So uh, concentric fractures, concentric breaks. So these are they, they they are made by different by different forces, similar but uh, but 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 uh, different. And here's where here's how they're made. The radial cracks. Uh, this is what happens when glass cracks. It effectively bursts. Let's say we have the object coming from one side from here. It hits this, so it indents the glass. Again, this happens in um, you know, microseconds even. But anyway, <clears throat> it hits this. So you'll notice how this is getting, it would get, when this is bulges out, this thing actually spreads. I mean, it's actually trying to bulge it out and spread in these two different directions. It spreads enough so that it actually bursts. So that this spread goes there and there to relieve the, the stress, and this forms a crack. That's what they call a radial crack. It, it forms like in a line. Now it doesn't form a line only horizontally; it forms upward and downward. But that's why it forms. That's why it forms that um, forms the radial lines. See it uh, up, down to the side. That's what happened. You know, you, it burst. Uh, let's say the bullet came, uh, bullet, whatever, tiny pebble, whatever. This causes uh, this um, this um, this fracture, this broken glass. It came, let's say, from the other side, and it burst this side so that it formed those radial cracks. Um, however, notice again, it bulges out this side, but ignoring that, also on this side, see, it pushes in this, which means that it pulls the glass on the side of, of the point of impact. It pulls this here, pulls that down there, and since it pulls it away from the other glass, it'll actually cause um, a break here. It's being pulled apart, so it, it uh, breaks apart here and here on both sides. Since this is caused by pulling toward the center, over here, it's pulled by, uh, this uh, forms on all sides of, uh, around the center, and it will create uh, what they call a concentric thing. Uh, it'll create circular uh, fractures, like this. Okay, it's like being, all these things are being pulled to the center, therefore they, they um, form those concentric cracks there in circles. Okay, so you can tell, you can tell um, um, what, you know, what force or what kind of force caused what kind of a crack? And also, you uh, can see that if you know this is, a, this is a concentric crack, then you know that side the concentric crack was on was the side that was hit by the object. So um, radial fractures they extend out, whereas we mentioned concentric are in a circle, and the obvious is like large holes in glass are formed by large objects. Small, small holes are formed by small objects. And uh, bullets can go through glass too. Um, a bullet can, uh, sometimes you can't really tell the difference between a bullet going through glass and a tiny pebble going through glass. Um, they both leave a small hole, but bullets can often leave gunpowder deposits as the bullet um, streaks through and scrapes through. Um, a pebble won't, obviously. Uh, when they're really high velocity objects, they can also leave like what they call symmetric thing. This is like sort of symmetric. So this was by a high velocity object. Now, uh, another thing to think about is the direction. Like you see uh, broken glass, you want to know where, like let's say who, which side, um, which side of the glass the bullet was shot from. Like uh, the bullet hit the, which side of the glass? I mean, the inside or the outside? Who did it? Uh, was the person on the outside? Was it the person on the inside? It's a way of, of reconstructing crime. So you can tell by the, let's say, going back here, assuming this is a bullet hole, uh, the depth of the bullet, meaning uh, the, the, the glass, um, it leaves, let's say, it leaves a hole, but there is uh, one side of the hole that's narrower than the, the other side of the hole. The side that has uh, that it bursts out of the depth that when you go, if you can put your finger down the thing, uh, you'll get to the bottom of the hole, as well as the outside, which is wider, more the wider part has is missing more on the wider side, whereas this is um, missing less. So, uh, assuming it's like a well or a hole, uh, the bottom of the well, the bottom of the hole is the place that the bullet struck first, because the outer part is where the bullet started, like blasted out all the pieces of glass. Whereas the, the other side didn't blast it out, it just it struck the glass on the other side, 
and blasted out um, on the other side. So the depth, the, the, the smaller hole, and if the glass is, let's say, um, half an inch thick, um, the part that uh, of the thickness that has a smaller hole is the part that the bullet came from. So we'll know um, which where the bullets came from um, if it's a bullet, if it's a gunshot or if it's a rock. Then we know which um, usually is only for small objects. Uh, let's say a small pebble was uh, was you know sprayed or thrown from that side of the glass. So <clears throat> we can recreate the crime a little bit better when we know that. There's another thing we think we can do when we see broken glass. They form stress marks along the thickness of the cracked edge. So what this looks like is this. Um, this is like a, the thickness of the glass that was broken. We can tell that it was um, it was hit over here, and this spreads out, forms into this curious curved uh, curved formations. Uh, they're, they're stress marks, and they curve outward toward the place where the glass bursts. So the force, let's say, let's say this was. This was a radial crack. Uh, the force, the force came from here, and caused it to burst over here. So the, the, the these curved marks are on the opposite side. So we know where the force came from. Um, of course, it's a concentric uh, burst on the other side. It'd be the other way, but we're not going to look at that. So this is like a diagram of what it looks like. The force comes from here. It will cause the bursting on the other side, and therefore we'll have the curve um, ending up on the opposite side. As uh, to where the where, as to where the impact point. This is for radial radial fractures. Consecutive fractures are just the opposite. If we see the curved thing, it must have been it, it was struck on this side, and uh, this side actually burst, and therefore the stress lines would curve toward the place where the concentric uh, you know, would curve toward the the source of the breakage of the source of the fracture if it's a concentric. But uh, assuming it's not concentric, um, uh, the, these curved, the curved lines end up the part away from where the, 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 where the impact point was. Another bit of information is, let's say you have two bullet holes in glass, or two small high-velocity impact. So we impact holes. So here we have your concentric parts. Here we have our radial lines. Radial lines are going further than the concentric part, which, which is normal. Um, these are two things from, these are two bullet holes in glass, let's say. Let's say we have this, and security guard says, uh, oh yeah, uh, thieves came, they stole everything, and, um, I shot at them, um, I shot at the, the one on the left, over here, and afterwards I shot at the one on the right, uh, but they got away with all the stuff. That's what security guard, security guard claims, is what happens in the crime. Okay, he's a witness, so, uh, we gotta listen to him, but what do the physical evidence say? The fact is, a fracture. Uh, will never extend past another fracture because the glass fractures along glass. It will never crack through a crack in the glass. So uh, what must have happened here is uh, what we do is we try to find out where these radial fractures meet. Uh, they meet over here, here, and here, let's say. This radial fracture stops right at this radial fracture because you couldn't go through it. This one's going past. must have been first. First, this radial fracture happened. Then this radial fracture happened. So this bullet hole came before this one. Same thing with this. Here, the fracture was here. This thing stops at there. Must be this one. This this um, this glass breakage came later. You know, the same thing over here. So um, the security guard said, 